What's up guys, my name is Dayraja Hill, IFBB Bikini Pro, and I'm gonna go over my three favorite exercises for glute development. The barbell hip thrust, the dumbbell squat, and good mornings, which I prefer to be performed on the hack squat machine, but if you don't have a hack squat, I can show you a few variations. The first exercise we're gonna talk about is the barbell hip thrust. They're super effective and I'll tell you why. The hip hinge movement, and that's a common theme you're gonna see with all of these exercises, is it really activates the glutes. You're really wanting to focus on hip extension, not leg extension, and there is a big difference between the two. Leg extension, you're gonna get way more quad activation. Hip extension, it's really mostly that posterior chain. Posterior chain meaning your glutes and your hamstrings. It's very important you make sure that you really focus on keeping your chin down, your head forward, and really hinging, like I said, from the hips, thrusting the glutes up and out towards the ceiling. Um, you really wanna squeeze the glutes at the top. The glutes is actually one of the only muscles in the body that has the most tension at its shortest length, meaning that it's when it's contracted, that's when it has the most tension. So you really wanna get the most out of that exercise by squeezing the glutes at the top, full lockout, full hip extension, and drive through the heels, driving the knees out. The second exercise we're gonna talk about is the dumbbell squat. Now, I have modified this exercise a lot because typically when you look at it, it's done a lot of different ways. There are a lot of different variations, but I like to focus specifically on keeping the core engaged, squeezing from the glutes. Again, like I mentioned before, focusing on that hip extension, not the leg extension. If your ankle mobility and your hip mobility aren't there, it's gonna be very hard to execute this movement properly. You're also gonna to have to check your ego when it comes to weight because this movement can feel very heavy with not a whole lot of weight. If you notice, I'm not using a whole lot of weight with this exercise and you still get a great glute pump. A few form tips, keep your chest up. Really try to keep the momentum and the track of that dumbbell consistent. Try not to, like I said, focus so much on the leg extension, really squeezing the glutes, keeping the core engaged. You don't want that lower back to have that curve, that lordotic curve. The third exercise is the good morning, another hip hinge movement. For performing this on the hack squat machine, you'll wanna make sure you keep in mind your foot placement and your foot angle. I typically prefer to have my feet angled out slightly, a little bit wider than hip width apart, and either in the middle or slightly higher than the middle of the platform. One other thing you wanna make sure that you do is drive through the heels, not necessarily the middle of the foot or the toes, because that's what's gonna really activate that posterior chain and drive those knees out. Do your best to not let those knees kind of buckle in. And like I said, try to keep a relatively steady angle of the knees the whole time. Focus more on the hip hinge, like I said, not the leg extension. It's not a squat, it is a good morning, and I'll show you the difference between the two. You can see when I do it as a squat form, there's way more bend in the knees. When you do it as a good morning, there's way more hinge in the hip. The knees stay relatively the same angle the whole time. If you don't have a hack squat available, you can do this on a Smith machine. You can also perform this with a barbell. If you're someone that's struggled for a long time with building your glutes, trust me, I can relate to you. It's been a struggle for me for a long time. Stick with it. Be patient. It's going to take time. You also can't neglect the nutrition aspect. Make sure that you're eating and fueling your body properly, eating enough protein, fueling your body with enough carbohydrates to promote not just a positive and good performance, but promoting that recovery process as well after your training. Don't neglect the food. Eat the food, train hard, train smart, and you'll see the results. Stick with me if you like this video. In the next episode, we're gonna talk about some accessory movements that I've been incorporating for months now that have definitely helped improve the shape of my glutes.